Hey guys, Steve with Vision Landscaping. I uh, just wanted to talk to y'all on Friday. It's about three o'clock here in Texas. Um, temperatures reached to 104 today. Man, it was blistering. We had a lot of stuff done today. Cut silver yards and uh, also cut some of our family member yards. Uh, don't forget your family members and also don't charge them because it's not worth it. Uh, they deserve a free cut. Uh, I'm sure they're supportive of your company, supportive of what you do. I have family that's let me store some of my equipment at their house. so. I always tell them, hey, if y'all need anything, just let me know. Um, half the time, I don't want to tell them I'm going. I'm just going to go do it. Because um, they'll be like, oh, no, it's okay, Steve. You don't have to do it. But you know what? Go help them out. Cut their grass. Um, kill their weeds. Whatever you got to do. If they want some shrubs cut, just do it. Um, be grateful that you have good family members that will always help you and support you. Don't forget people that support you. Whether it's customers or not, we had a great experience with this last customer. We did a good rock job. My son helped me out. Um, we didn't think it was going to be as big as it was, but it turned out they wanted more and more and more. And they're actually going to think about hiring us back for some sod installation pretty soon. So what I'm getting at is try to do whatever you can. Even family members, every once in a while, they'll, they'll send you some money. They'll sell you some money. And it's unexpected, but it's always greatly appreciated. Um, being a small business, we try to push as hard as we can day in and day out. Um, going back to being solo is, is tough because you don't know how big of a job you can take on. Um, so like this rock job, the last time we were, well, we were gonna hire somebody, but we were like, nah, you know, we'll stick to what we got. Me and my son were able to knock it out. It took us three days to do it. That being said, guys, keep trucking along, keep driving. Uh, lawn care and landscaping is always gonna be around no matter what, if the recession or not. You just gotta find your right clients. Don't be afraid of your pricing. Stay true to yourself, stay true to you, stay true to your business, stay t true to you. Your, your mission and your statement. Um, listen to some good uh, podcasts today while I was cutting grass and you know, people ask, what is your why? What is your why? Um, you know, if you, if you go back and look at what is your why, the biggest thing that I would probably tell you is it's family, growing a business and hopefully passing it down to your kids. That's what a lot of people say. Um, and if you don't stick true to your numbers and you're so cheap and cheap and cheap, you're not just a truck in the tr uh, a truck, a truck in the truck, there you go. A uh, little tongue twister for you. You're, you're actually a business. Majority of the, everyone out there that I've seen lately is a business. Um, LLC, the register, licensed, and insured with, with the state. Now, there are those guys out there that are going to always lowball people and, and get whatever they want. But stay true to yourself. Stay true to your numbers. Customers will respect your work ethic and how you do it. Um, don't shortcut people because it'll come back and hit you in the long run. Uh, just little business tips that we've been learning you know, this is our first full year in being registered and licensed and being LLC'd. And we've learned a lot. Um, we're not going to lie. Um, you know, the back end of, of paperwork and taxes and stuff is tough to do. You just got to sit down and do it. Registering your trailers, registering your trucks, make sure that you're doing, um, using your, your actual, uh, I guess, business card per se, business money for stuff like that. Like right now, we're, we're in line to get an oil change. Well, this truck is used basically 90% for, for business. So we're using our business account for that. Um, maintenance wise, everything goes through our business, um, whether it's a tire for a trailer or, you know, our Kubota is at the shop right now getting worked on. So use your business money for that. Do not use your business money to go out to eat. Do not use your business money to go buy a candy bar. Do not use your business money to do stupid stuff. Pay attention to what you do. Jot down a little notes so you can remember stuff. Um, but we have learned a lot in this first year, and it's been great for us. It's been a blessing in disguise. As soon as you think you're at a low and you're going to drop down, and oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Should we just quit this? You know, next thing you know, a customer calls. Um, prior customer, new customer. Hey, we're looking for some landscaping. Hey, we're looking for this. What can you do? Um, out here in Texas, it's, it's so hot grass is dying left and right customers don't want to water because here in, in texas san antonio area uh we're, we're in a, a one day a week of watering one day of week that's that's nothing that's going to barely keep it alive and not let it go dormant pretty much so it's very tough i had a customer today that brand new customer called one their their lawn cut uh i just have weeds and i'm like eee. they're like please 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 we need to knock down I don't want to put myself and associate that with our business, um, but it was an older lady and I totally understood. So long story short, we went over there and we cut her. 
and uh, she's very greatly appreciative and she actually has some landscaping projects for us. What do you know? She wants to get rid of the dead weeds that are out there and put down some rock. So future project in the works. But anyways, guys, we're about to pull in the oil change place. So take care of yourself. Don't work too hard and hydrate and stay cool. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.